Okay, so be honest. Does this shirt make me look like a Chili's waiter? So here's the deal, today is Sunday and literally all weekend long I've been struggling to feel like I am awake at all and so rather than going out for coffee this weekend and asking people if I can film and having them gracefully tip the latte art towards the camera, uh, I'm just gonna make some coffee right here, shall we? We're gonna keep it incredibly short this weekend. I just wanted to take some time and address the number one question that I've been asked lately. And this doesn't just apply to the vlog and video work, but this is for any creator. And I think that it's something that's incredibly important for people to know. If I can paraphrase the question and boil it down, the number one thing that I'm asked is why does my content suck? People ask me that question over and over again in a number of different ways. Sometimes it's, man, how come this record isn't coming out the way that I want it to? Man, how come I can't write a song that makes me feel the way this one does, man? How come I can't seem to get my pacing right in my vlog or in my podcast? How come I'm not able to get the feel and the mood that I'm wanting in my photography? Honestly, I ask myself that question almost any time that I create something, and so rather than give you advice, I wanted to share some with you that's really affected me over the last years. This is a quote by a guy called Ira Glass. You probably know who he is. He's a host of the This American Life podcast. And Ira says, all of us who do creative work, we get into it because we have good taste. But there is a gap. The first couple of years you make stuff and it's just not that good. It's trying to be good. It has potential, but it's just not. But your taste, the thing that got you in the game, is still killer. And your taste is why your work disappoints you. A lot of people never get past this phase. They quit. But most people I know who do interesting, creative work went through years of this. We know our work doesn't have that special thing that we want it to have. And it's only by going through a volume of work that you'll close that gap and your work will begin to be as good as your ambitions. I wish that someone had told this to 15 year old Dave. See, I began in middle and high school writing songs and doing things like that, but I was listening to Radiohead and U2 one moment, and then the next moment, I was writing a song about my high school breakup and there was a disconnect. And it's not that age has literally anything to do with it. It's just beginning to put in those reps and strengthen that creative muscle that gets you to the point where you can close the gap between the content that you wanna create and the content that you are creating. I get asked all the time by incredibly talented people, people that I, to be honest, am jealous of their talent. Man, why does the thing that I'm creating just not live up to my expectations? And so I say it to them and I'll say it to you, keep creating and I guarantee you the gap between your expectations and your reality will begin to close. Now there is a subtext here, not everything that sucks sucks because it's new. If it takes consistency and persistence in the beginning of your creative endeavors to begin to create good content, good art, I guarantee you it takes even more persistence and even more consistency to continue creating good art. The vlog a few weeks back called It Takes Hours to create minutes. And I talked about how so much of the art that we consume, we can glance at a painting on a wall in seconds. We can listen to a song in three or four minutes. And honestly, most of us don't even make it all the way through that thing. We can watch a video in a handful of minutes, but that content that we can consume so quickly took hours to create. And if we're being realistic, it probably took more like days and weeks. So if you clicked on this video because you think your content sucks and you're looking for answers, 
ask yourself one of these two questions. Am I new to this? Chances are you have great taste and you just don't have the ability to close the gap between your taste and what you're actually creating. And the only way that you're gonna close that gap is by going through a volume of work. But the second question that you need to ask yourself if what you're creating isn't living up to your expectations is, are you willing to put in the hours that it takes to create minutes? Because a lot of us sometimes, we just try and kick back on the couch with an espresso and think that inspiration is gonna strike us. So on that note, I wanna hand it off to Thomas Lightfoot. Thomas is our creative director of all things audio with Tacos and Tunes, and he just put out two killer singles. They're on iTunes, they're on Spotify, they're on Google Play, anywhere you can get music online. I'm gonna play you guys an extended clip of one of his songs and I'm gonna link that stuff down in the bio because this is someone I respect hugely as a creator. This is someone who is new but is making his way through a volume of work and is putting in the hours it takes to create those excellent minutes. So enjoy Thomas's newest single and this week rather than asking you to like or subscribe to this video, I'm just gonna ask you to go to the description in the bio, click that iTunes link, and actually spend the 99 cents that it takes to support this artist and let him know that what he's creating is killer. And we'll see you guys next week. Well, don't you see just what you do to me? You got me down, you got me wishing we could just go back to what we used to be. Not always worried about what people think Cause now they got you stressed out You're always in your head now no, no. But remember what you told me That you just wanted to be happy so I'm